Hey everyone, a slightly different video here today as we're going to be checking out this, the new Artist Pro 16 Gen 2 from XP Pen. Now as a little disclaimer, XP Pen did very kindly send this out to me to check out, but of course they don't have any say over what goes into this video and these are all my honest thoughts after having this tablet for about a week now. But before we get into that, let's see what you get in the box. Now speaking of the box, can we just appreciate how lovely this box art is? The tablets I've had in the past have had pretty plain and bland boxes and this is just a nice little touch that helps make the unboxing experience a bit more exciting. Upon opening we are of course greeted with the display itself along with a wobbly reflection of myself. Now as the name would suggest we have a 16 inch display here but we'll take a closer look at that after we've finished unboxing. Next up we have our pen case along with some instructions on the bag here on how to change your pen nibs. The case itself has a nice metallic feel to it and inside of course you'll find the pen along with some extra nibs and a USB dongle for the shortcut remote. It also has this lovely button mechanism to open and close the case. In here we have our shortcut remote. Now I personally just use my keyboard for all my shortcuts but it's nice to see this included for those that do like the buttons as there's none on the display itself. It's entirely plastic but it feels decently made and the dial here has a nice clickiness to it as you turn it. It can be connected via Bluetooth with the dongle in the pen case or plugged in using this USB cable which you'd also use to charge it. In the middle here is the power adapter which isn't required for the display to work but if the device you're using can't provide enough power for the display then you'll need to plug this in as well. Next we'll find some extra accessories, a cleaning cloth for the screen and a drawing glove. Also in here is the warranty card and manual. Finally we have the USB-C to C cable which is all you need for the display as well as a USB extension if needed. So for some quick tech specs, we have a 16 inch display at 2.5K resolution, which is 2560 by 1600 pixels. This also means it has a 16 by 10 aspect ratio, which gives you a little bit of extra vertical screen space to work with. The body itself has a nice brushed metal finish and overall feels quite sturdy and premium. We've got the fold out stand legs here and on top we have the two USB-C ports, one for the all-in-one cable and one for the optional power, as well as the power and brightness adjustment buttons. The display itself is pretty thin but gradually thickens out towards the top. By propping these legs out you'll see that the stand itself only has one angle and while it is a nice angle to work with, there are times where I like to sit back a bit and prop up the display towards me and unfortunately that just isn't possible with this unless you buy a separate stand. Now as mentioned before, the display can be solely powered using the USB C to C cable included. Unfortunately, my PC is a few years old now and I don't have USB C available to me, so I'm going to have to make use of this 3 in 1 cable. This has typically been included with display tablets, but with this newer model you will need to buy it separately if needed. The colours on this display are great, they're extremely clear and vivid, though I did have to make some small adjustments in the driver software to help it match my main monitor a bit better. And speaking of the drivers, after downloading and installing them from the XP Pen website, I'm happy to say that for me everything just worked. With my previous tablet I had to do a fair bit of troubleshooting to get things working as expected, but here I've had no issues. Within the driver software itself you have plenty of options to calibrate your display and edit your pen settings. You can also have different settings for different softwares, you'll see that I have one set up there for Blender. You can also edit the buttons on the shortcut remote and set up four different key groups that you can freely switch between. Now the big selling point they have with this pen is that it sports what they're calling the X3 Pro chip which allows for double the amount of pressure sensitivity 
at 16,000 levels, which is pretty crazy, but honestly, the 8,000 levels that you find on most modern tablets now, I feel is more than enough, but it's cool to see that they're able to do that. I've been testing it out here in Krita and I can say that the pen does feel incredibly smooth and responsive to use. I also switched out my pen nib for the white felt ones that come in the pen case. I'm not sure how durable these are compared to the regular pen nibs, but the slightly softer touch these give paired with the texture on the screen gives a really nice drawing feel. I obviously had to give it a quick test in grease pencil. And while I don't tend to use pressure sensitivity here, everything worked just as smoothly as I hoped. In this close-up, you can see just how accurate the pen is. And thanks to the laminated display, there's also a very small gap between the pen and the screen itself. So after having this for just over a week now, I can't deny it's been a big upgrade for me. I got my previous tablet back in around 2019 and it's clear to see there's been a lot of progress made with these display tablets. The jump up from 1080p to 2.5k has been great. Everything on the display is clear and crisp, though if you pick this up and you're on Windows, I suggest going into your display settings and changing the scale to somewhere around 150%. The default 200% just makes everything look huge on this display. At first I didn't think too much about the 16 by 10 aspect ratio, but after having gotten used to it now, that little bit of extra vertical screen space is really nice to have. And in a program like Blender, we can have multiple viewports open at once. Having that bit of extra space and the resolution to cater for that is great. On a little side note, if you're wanting to record the screen itself for say a video here on YouTube, since most of the content is 16 by 9, you would have to allow for a bit of extra blank space on the sides so you don't chop off the top and bottom. You could also force the display to be 16x9 at 1440p, but then of course you're losing that extra working space. But of course, if you're not going to be recording yourself, then this is nothing to worry about. As I mentioned before, the 16,000 levels of pressure within this pen isn't a massive deal for me personally, but I can say that drawing with this has been a super smooth experience. The pen has a really nice weight to it, and it's of course battery free. There's also an eraser tip at the opposite end of the pen that you can flip around to use, but I'm so used to using keyboard shortcuts for that that I don't see myself using it. And just navigating around the 3D space in Blender, editing objects and pulling them around has been really snappy and responsive. While I did say I didn't think I'd get any use out of the shortcut remote, I did find the dial on it a nice alternative to my mouse's scroll wheel for things like proportional editing like you've seen me use in this project, just means I don't have to take my hand off the screen for it. And I personally do like the fact that there are no buttons on the display. Just having that space purely for the screen looks really sleek to me. Overall though, I have really enjoyed using this tablet. Any small issue I had was really just down to preference. I'll leave a link below if you are interested or just want to know some more of the technical specs. It's definitely a bit more expensive than XP Pen's previous offerings, but it seems worth it for the quality that you're getting here, and I can definitely see myself using this for a good while now. Here is the finished piece you've been seeing me work on. If you're curious about how I create something like this in Blender, I did create a video going into a bit more detail behind the process of this sort of style, and you can check that out here. Thank you once again to XP Pen, and thank you for watching. I'll see you around.